All right, gang. So, short and sharp, in and out, because I know that's what people like. So, first today, we're going to look at Miss Token. We're going to look at tokenomics and why I think now is a great time to, put, to be putting it on your radar. So, first of all, what is Miss Token? Miss Token is the very first, think of it as the Genesis ERC20 token, the very first token apart from Ethereum to launch on Ethereum. Now, why is that a big deal? In crypto, you always want to be, you, you want to be the very first of everything. The first, for example, the very first NFTs were CryptoPunks. Look how successful they were. The equivalent over on the fungible ERC20 token side is MIST. It was created by the core devs at Ethereum, kind of as a bit of a test, and this, what then became the ERC-20 standard moving forward and launched probably one of the most, well, an absolutely legendary era of ERC-20 tokens, launches, etc. So you always wanna be on the first mover and you never get a second chance at being first. So no matter how many projects come after, whatever ERC-20 projects come after that launch on ETH, you will never be able to be the first. So it will go down. It's almost like owning a little piece of ETH history. So that's one of the things I really like about MIST. That's, that's what kind of caught my eye. So firstly, what is MIST? Secondly, tokenomics. There's only ever going to be a million of them. A million is the, token, is the total token supply. Talking to the community over the last day or so, there is about 300,000 in circulation. That gives us a market cap at the current price of about a million, a million five, 1.5 or so million dollars circ. Fully diluted, you're looking at around about a $3 million market cap to own a piece of ETH history. That was kind of what jumped out of the screen at me. I couldn't believe that, um, yeah, we're getting a shot at owning a genuine piece of Ethereum history and it sat at around about a million dollar market cap. That to me is completely and utterly fucking insane. That was why I'd done about an hour or so of reading and I aped, I couldn't help it. I really like the lore, I like the backstory. I'm a huge Fabian Vogelsteller fan who is the um, one of the core ETH devs. He came up with Mist Token. He's also, for those that don't know, the founder of Luxo, which is another project I'm very, very bullish on. And this thing is sat at around about a million dollar market cap, but there has been a problem and I'll tell you why. Much like CryptoPunks, to be bought and sold on Uniswap, for example, CryptoPunks needed to be wrapped because they were missing something in the original contract. MIST was exactly the same, or is exactly the same. So MIST was lacking a function that you need to basically wrap it on Ethereum to buy and sell it on the open market. About a year or so ago, someone came up with the idea of wrapping it and they put it on Uniswap, but a year or so ago was a very different time. It was a bear market. We are very much in a bull market now. So a year or so ago, someone wrapped it, put it on Uniswap, but there was such little liquidity that you could only trade it up to about $10 or so. It wasn't, there was no liquidity above that token price for the buys and sells. So it was capped at like a 10 or so dollar market, uh, a 10 or so dollar token price which people in crypto are here to make money, right? Um, not everyone wants to buy stuff because it has some kind of historical value or meaning. Um, most are here to make money. So you couldn't speculate on the token price of MIST because there was no liquidity to do so. So you couldn't buy or sell this thing for a profit because it couldn't go above $10. So that's another reason why I kind of think that many would have just passed over. However, right now on Fueled Foundry, there is a... LBP, a liquidity bootstrapping raise where Fabian Vogelsteller himself has donated 50k of his MIST tokens to be sold to raise money for increased liquidity. Increased liquidity means that there will not be a cap on that token price. So, so whether you understand that stuff about the liquidity and all that sort of, just hear this, right? This is the first token that lived on Ethereum the first of its kind, the first ever ERC-20, the Genesis ERC-20 token. It's like owning a piece of ETH history, right? For the first time ever, on Friday, when the extra liquidity gets added to Uniswap, you are going to be able to buy and sell this token without price limitations. Before there were price limitations, you could not, you could only trade this thing up to around $10. 
because of the lack of liquidity, the lack of liquidity. But that doesn't matter anymore. For the first time ever, we can trade the first ever ERC20 token on ETH. We're going to be able to trade that on Uniswap without price, without a price cap, without that ten dollar ceiling. A piece of ETH history for the first time being chucked onto the open market without a price cap, without a price ceiling. Hmm. It's not just me that I, surely this thing's going to go fucking parabolic, right? I mean, I, I, so there you go. Put mist on your radar. I think it needs a look potentially before Friday. Um, and yeah, I hope you learn something. Cheers, guys.